What's up everybody? So in this video, we are going to go through all of the most affordable Oregon coastal towns and we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing the good and the bad of living on the Oregon coast, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market on the coast. My name is Eddie and I get emails, calls and texts every day from people just like you wanting to know more about living and moving to the Oregon coast. So whether you're moving in nine days or nine months or anywhere in between, Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Maybe we can jump on a Zoom so I can help you make that smooth move today. Well, we are going to get after the Oregon's most affordable towns right now. What we're going to talk about is basically there's a number of different factors of what makes a town affordable and what it makes it to be the best place to move to. And when you think about affordability, we can talk about with the house um, depending on what type of house you want, it's really a difficult thing to parse out. So we're going to use um, days on the market, but also median sale price, median list price. We're going to talk about the livability of the town, how much things cost to live there. So those types of things will go into affordability, but really it comes down to the subjective um, opinion of you, the person that's going to be moving there. So I'm going to go over what I consider to be the top um, most affordable towns right now. We're going to go get down to the most affordable is Newport. I think Newport, uh, the median sales price, there's things that drag Newport up to be a very expensive place to buy a plate, to buy a home or to buy a property. But those are really the beachfront or ocean view or bay view, river view type of properties that are a little bit higher on the price scale that then skew the averages. And so when we talk about average or median list price, um, when it comes to homes, there are a lot of homes that are going to be priced at quite a high number when you're talking about Newport or any coastal town for that matter. But when you think about livability, um, affordability of meals and shopping and everything else, really there's going to be, um, Newport's going to be right there at the top when it comes to affordability. Now there's other places close to Newport that also make it more affordable. If you don't want to live in the city proper of Newport, you know, things like, uh, South beach, Toledo, Celeste, uh, Glen Eden beach, Otter rock. There's different places where you can be close to Newport and also get affordability, but Newport is definitely going to be number five on our list. Number four on our list is Gold Beach with a median sales price of just over $400,000. you are going to find that Gold Beach is really a nice, cheap option. There's going to be condos, there's going to be homes, there's going to be manufacturers, different places that you can move into in Gold Beach that you may like. Food prices, livability, uh, those things are going to be um, on the cheaper end as well. There are some things that you may not like, which is just the remoteness of it being on the Southern Oregon coast and, uh, you know, not a ton of things to do there in Gold Beach, but it's definitely going to be some place where if you're trying to get, maybe retire or move to the coast, get the coastal beauty, be close to amazing spots on the coast to go see and enjoy with, uh, your family or whomever. It's going to be a place that you're definitely going to want to check out. And it's normally at the top of a lot of our clients' lists. Um, definitely always in the top five of, I want to check out Gold Beach or know more about Gold Beach. So when you're thinking about affordability, I would say Gold Beach definitely, When it, if we're just breaking down just house costs, is going to be at the top of the list on the Oregon coast. Number three for the Oregon coast, most affordability is Florence, Oregon. Florence is got a median sales price just around the 430 to 450 range, depending on where you look. But overall, you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck in Florence. Are you going to be right on the ocean? Are you going to be seeing those panoramic, amazing ocean views? Probably not, but you're going to be very close to it. 
most coastal towns, if you're going to get those views or you're going to be in that proximity to the water, to the beach, you're going to definitely be paying a premium for that, whether that's 800, 900 or $1 million. It's going to definitely be very expensive to be in those spots. So when we're talking about affordability, you're probably thinking of more places off of the beach, you know, in the middle of town or on the east side of town, um, whatever town we're talking about. So affordability in Florence, it is a quick shot and it's a great location too because it's a straight shot, 45 to 55 minute drive over to uh, Eugene. And it's also, you know, right in the middle of the central or southern coast. You've got uh, Reedsport, Coos Bay to the south and you've got Newport to the north that are really between 45 to 60 minutes away uh, drive. And some of the best drives, some of the, it's really one of the best locations on the Oregon coast with um, great affordability, great schools, and great location to the Willamette Valley. So that's definitely one place that you're gonna wanna consider when thinking about the affordability on the Oregon coast. Coming in at number two on our list of the most affordable o Oregon coast towns is the Coos Bay North Bend area. It's always considered to be and always at the top of the list of the most affordable places to move and to buy at. And this is no different. You've got one of the biggest, actually it is the biggest metropolitan area on the Oregon coast from Astoria to Brookings. So when you're thinking of maybe you want a little bit bigger, a little bit more options for um, shopping, for eating, for um, things to do, for schools, for all, a whole host of different reasons, Coos Bay North Bend is going to be the place that you're going to want to look at. And affordability, you're, there's all kinds of options. There's a very large spectrum. And we've got um, a, a median uh, sales price in the 300,000s, which is one of the lowest on the entire Oregon coast. So when you think about where you might want to be, I would say um, if affordability is something that you definitely want to think about, you're going to want to definitely think about um, just taking a glance down on the southern Oregon coast at Coos Bay and North Bend. And at the top of our list, number one in affordability on the Oregon coast is Walport, Oregon. Walport is just south of Newport on the central Oregon coast. It is about a 60 minute drive to Corvallis and maybe a 75 minute drive to Eugene. Um, very close to the valley, you got Highway 34 that goes up the Alsea River straight to Philomath Corvallis, or you can shoot up to Newport and go over on Highway 20, one of the safer roads between the coast and the Willamette Valley to take your drive to the central Willamette Valley. Those are things that you definitely got to take into consideration when you're moving to the coast, but also when affordability is something, you know, you might get um, the same house in Newport that's going to be a little bit more expensive in Newport. But if you just come down the coast, just 15 minutes, um, 15, 16 mile drive down south to Walport, there's a lot of areas that you're going to get some affordable options. And some of them might even come with an ocean view. Under $500,000, three bedroom, two bath, maybe around 100,000 square feet. There are houses in the Bayshore neighborhood um, that you definitely can get that we've seen come up in the 400s um, most, more recently. You've also got houses inside of Walport that are great options affordability wise when it comes to that. When, if you're thinking about uh, places to shop, there's only uh, one grocery store in Walport. There's only a couple gas stations. There's not a lot of things to do like you would see in maybe a Seaside or a Newport or a Brookings. It's a smaller town and maybe it's a place where you know, on the top of a lot of people's lists is, you know, I mentioned Gold Beach, but we also hear, you know, the gem of the Oregon coast, which is Yahats. It's only about eight miles south of Walport. And a lot of people that want to be in Yahats and they're looking around Yahats, they take a quick look into Walport and they realize there's a lot greater affordability in Walport and they're right there next to Yahats. And maybe they figure out, I don't need to be in Yahats necessarily. So Walport is definitely a place that you're going to want to check out if you're thinking about affordability. Now, if you need help and you need maybe some uh, questions answered, you need some boot, uh, boots on the ground in any of these areas from Brookings to Astoria, Newport to Florence, Coos Bay to Lincoln City or Tillamook, then you, ha you can just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, look no further. Um, I'm more than willing to help and I really like to just hear from people, jump on Zooms, jump on calls all the time. I, I do it all the time and I love to do it. So 
whether you're going to move sooner or later, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm here to help. Um, so that's going to be the end of our video of just thinking about the most affordable towns on the Oregon coast. Um, think through those different towns. And if you have anything else that you can think of that um, needs to be answered, make sure to give me a call. Well, that'll do it. And uh, I thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe or uh, tap the bell for notifications. But until next time, let's make this the best day ever. Thank you.